Hi everyone, this is Peter. For this part, uh, we will do. We want to do a side by side comparison with the uh, EX3. So everyone know that the PMW 300 is the next generation of EX3. So uh, for my first feeling is uh, if you are familiar about the operations and then with the EX3, I think you will just need to take a few minutes and then to leave and then you will just like maybe uh, very easy to operate with the uh, PMW 300 because uh, on the menu and also on some of most of the setting and then they are pretty the same as the EX3. And okay, so let's talk about the, uh, the outlook. So you will see the side by in the side by side shot on the EX3 and then on with the PM uh, 300. You will see the operation is uh, the size and also the uh, uh, the outlook is pretty the same. That uh, maybe the EX3 is a little bit shorter and then the uh, the uh, the the back of this is a little bit like maybe up on top. And then on the uh, 300, it's actually just like slimmer and also it's longer. Especially when you are doing like maybe a. Uh, uh, a side by side shot on top here. So you will see both camera, you will see both camera. This the EX um, the EX3 is uh, is slightly wider and also the PM and the 300 is actually slimmer. So the um, the advantage for this is for example like the handheld handle if you just close to your camera body and then it's actually make you a less like maybe a payload on your hand rather than the EX3 because you will see the EX3 is uh, you got like much wider from uh, out of the uh, of the camera and then it will be it will actually just like on the weight and operation and then it is getting some improvement and then on the uh, on the other hand i think the difference in between each other will be the uh, wheel finder on the wheel finder Although like they are both like maybe a uh, uh, long like maybe a flippable or maybe a not like maybe hireable uh, wheel finder, but uh, you will see on the EX3 you will got the this part is actually the main uh, LCD body, and then that's because of the size of the uh, of the monitor. So uh, I mean the wheel finder. So you might have to always have to find a special. Uh, back to operate with this because uh, you have this extra bit of stuff and then you have to look after otherwise it will be easy to get banded. For the, for the PMW 300 it will be easier because the monitor is actually only this part. So you can actually buy a very common like maybe a camcorder back and then maybe the only thing you need to do is take this part away, flip this part maybe uh, more closer to the uh, to the camera body and then you can just like place the whole camera back into a normal like the size of a, of a carrying case rather than maybe you have to uh, specially maybe find a back for the EX3 so i think that is the um, that is the main uh, main advantage and then on the mounting design you will see the uh, they are also have a like a huge improvement in between each other so for the uh, EX3 so you will see that the uh, always some people will be uh, uh, afraid or maybe complain about like maybe uh, this part is a little bit like friendly and also at the same time that like um, the um, the the angle that you can control like at the front and the back and then doesn't really like give you a lot of like maybe uh, choices and then uh, is not really like maybe a user friendly. So for the uh, for the EX, uh, for the PMW 300, they have do a big um, improvement. First, okay, you will see this is um, they have like they all built in into a fully uh, metal, which is uh, make you feel much uh, stronger and tough. And also, they have like a lock here, and then to control the uh, the L shaped mount, which is uh, you can just like maybe uh, control the um, uh, the positions on uh, on this. And also, you can have like another lock. Which you can uh, lock the uh, the positions on uh, on the uh, on the wheel finder, for example. Okay, I lock it here, and then at the same time you can have like the uh, whole operation to uh, nearly 180 degrees, and then you can have like nearly 360 degrees on on onto the uh, wheel finder. So no matter what situations, and then you are, for example, like even like that. And then I can still operate pretty well, or maybe uh, I in the very low low positions, and then I want to just like doing like this, and then it's much wider operations on the wheel finder, and then compare with the EX3. At the same time, because the um, 
although the EX3 and then the uh, the brightness uh, peaking all is in the front, and then the on the uh, 300, the the button is other than the contrast brightness and peaking, and then you can also get a zebra and also the display because you get a side shot, and then you can just do just get one button and then flip the unit back into your positions. It's very convenient, and also now the viewfinder is not the place or not the point that always people have complained about like maybe uh, I have to buy a special bag maybe because of the viewfinder or maybe the viewfinder is too is not strong enough or maybe some situations and then worse come to worse and then maybe you've broken this and then you only need to just like maybe replace maybe a viewfinder that or maybe you just like need to replace maybe uh, uh, iris on this so that's all this part and then you can be operate rather than maybe uh, you have to buy a whole part like this and then it's actually quite expensive too so i think uh, sony is really think about maybe or or uh, listen the complaint about or maybe the comments on, on the on the climbs and on the other hand and then if you do a side by side shot and then you will see the uh, nd the nd on the ex3 and on, only have flight to stop which is uh um the eight and also is a 64. So for this one, they take away the 8 and then they put on the 4 and also put on the 16 and the 64. So which make the, uh, the ND is more even rather than maybe just like a light ND suddenly jump to a very heavy ND. So I think the, uh, for operations, this add-on ND I think is very good or also it's been very useful for a lot of situations. But sometimes you don't want to have like suddenly up to like 64 and then I just open the iris. I just want to have something in between. So now you can you can go to like you can go to the middle one which is the uh, the 16 rather than suddenly eight other jump to 64 so which is this is good and the other thing is the uh, handle so as i said the handle now is closer to the to the camera body which you make you the uh, the handheld is much easier other than that i do really like they have put on one more button which is the iris auto iris button and on the ex3 you don't have it because okay when I doing maybe sometimes on maybe um, for example like news or maybe a run and gun situations, I always like to have like before the shoot, I just like press the auto iris button to see how the uh, the camera and performs about the auto iris, and then if I think it is too bright or maybe it's over or under uh, what I expect, and then I can still using the uh, the manual operation and then to to just like to. Uh, to close or open the iris, which is much user friendly than the uh, than than the previous version. Because otherwise, for the EX3, I have to be totally rely on to the zebra and then with my uh, manual iris. For this one, it is easier, especially when you're doing uh, interviews. And um, other than that, you will see on the uh, on the menu. Okay, let me just turn this camera, and then I just go to the menu. You will see the menu is most likely the similar than the um, than the um, than the EX3. So, which is uh, this is the reason why I say it is uh, if you're familiar about the EX3 and then you just like it takes a few minutes and then to uh, to um, to uh, read about like the menu and then you can start to use the camera easily. And uh, the only difference in between like each other and then is the picture profile. On the picture profile. And then um, on the picture profile on the EX3, you only got like the uh, you only got like the uh, the standard one two three four and also the scene one two three four. But on to the uh, on the uh, e, uh, PMW three hundred, you also you you got like the standard one two six, and then you get the hyper gamma one two four. At this moment, because uh, Sony still haven't released the information about like the uh, the setting of uh, what's the difference in between the standard the one two three four one two one two six and also the hyper gain one two four. So maybe in the short period of time, we will post this information and then maybe I uh, will show you what's the difference in between this setting, and then. Um, and then other than that, you will be talking about we will be talking about the um, um, the output. You will see this in the onto EX3, and then the uh, all the setting is on the side and also on the back of the uh, of the uh, uh, camcorder. And also on the EX3, you only got the um, uh, the SDI out, but uh, you don't have the HDMI. But for the uh, 300, you now you got two SDI out. At the same time, you got the HDMI out too. 
So this, what is good is, for example, for this, I can I can only get like maybe a, a SDI out maybe straightly to a visual mixer or maybe to a recorder. Then maybe if I need to have to record, maybe put it onto maybe a visual mixer or other things which is SDI, I may have to do a loop. But when I do a loop through, then maybe you will start to have some uh, delay onto the shots. But for the 300, because you got like two SDI, you got HDMI, so what you can do is, I can have HDMI onto the monitor, I can have one SDI onto the vision mixer, I still have one SDI onto the uh, uh, recorder, which is very convenient, and then you no need to worry about the delay because of the loop through. So, um, other than that, and then the, uh, op I think the only thing maybe uh, we're still missing is the uh, handheld situations. For the EX3, the handheld situation, it's not really like a shoulder mount situation. Because for the EX3, the only thing you can do is the, uh, you can just like release the back on it and then it just like put maybe a, a kind of shoulder pad and then onto your, uh, onto your chest. It doesn't really just like a shoulder, like maybe a solution. But, uh, for, the, uh, but for the EX, uh, for, for the PMW300, and then uh, they will come with the, uh, we have a padding here, and then you can flip away, and then also you can uh, reposition the size, uh, the positions on the uh, on the padding. Then what you can do is now, for example, like I put it on, and then I really just can put this camcorder onto the shoulder, which is actually much easier to operate rather than this. And also your the the weight of uh, of the camera is not only just like maybe put it onto your hand. You can also put like maybe some of the weight onto your shoulder, which uh, makes the operation like maybe or maybe when you're using the handheld for a long time, it will be actually much uh, comfortable than the EX3. So I think this is the um, the side by side comparison in between the EX3. So for the next part, we will do some uh, uh, test shots onto the uh, onto each other, especially the, the Sony Hong Kong. Uh, the Sony tell us that the uh, they have do uh, uh, improvement onto the uh, noise compression. So let's see on the next part.